I'm making a video right now is because I did my hair so cute and I was about to do something today that I really did not want to mess it up and I am recording a video to save it so everybody knows that I did my hair like this. You're welcome. Today's video is all about skin because I already did my hair. As you saw in the intro, I feel like I've got more adjusted to makeup and face skincare and stuff like that. But if you really don't like these videos and if you want like tons more hair videos, I'll be on it because honestly this doesn't really feel like me when I'm doing them. I just sometimes want to have a little fun. Let's get on with the video. First I'm going to start off with exfoliating the skin and um, just taking a little on my finger and rubbing it through my hand and throughout my face. Just trying to get off the dry skin so my skin is looking. Once that sinks in, I'll use moisturizer, yeah. You guys obviously know this Jergens Original Scent um, Moisturizer. It's so it heals and softens dry skin to even a more plump effect. Why I like this is because it's not like normal moisturizers. They moisturize the skin, but they're taking off the dry skin and kind of just smoothening out the layer of skin. This heals the skin back into the face, but makes a really smooth, soft layer. So, I have a more plump effect because all the dryness that I had from chemical burns and stuff will just re-plump back onto my face and make another smooth layer so I don't regain like wrinkles from the dry patches that I had and all the scrubbing of dry skin. I really like this. Anyways, it just smells really good. Cherry is one of my favorite fruits ever. So that it has a cherry almond scent. It's like one of the best things in the world. I obviously recommend you guys get this. To be fair, this is another good one. And even if you want, if you already bought that one and you feel like it's not smoothening out the layer as much, you can just build a normal one on top of it. So, I'm just getting the tiniest bit. I added a little bit too much. That's good. Just dot it on the face, rub it in, and go. Just like that. I also did make sure that my face was washed, by the way. Now, if you guys really wanted, you could use foundation. Um, if you have dry skin, I recommend the Clinique. Super Balance, whatever this is. Also, maybe the the also famous one, which is a concealer plus foundation. A Beyond Perfecting concealer and foundation. But this is just one of them, and this is a little too dark for me. And the sad thing is that it's only shade 3, so they don't really have a wide shade range in this one, which probably nobody's going to get this one. But I'm just applying a tiny bit with a Q-tip. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. And just kind of applying it where um, I need coverage, like where the base normally is so I can blend it out into other areas. This might look like a lot and then I'm dipping a lot, but I swear it isn't. And if it is too much, it will just get on my brush. So I don't really have to worry about it. I just watched it on my hand so you can see. I don't know if you can tell what that is. I'll wipe off my hand, which I just washed on. And I'll blend it out with this BS Mall Face Flat Kabuki Brush. I don't really have a lot of tips. Except if you're using... A beauty blender make sure it is wet because it will create a softer smoother effect and it will melt it into the skin properly but if you're having a kabuki brush or something like this I recommend you swipe it around like 
not really swiping, just whirl it into the skin like this and then pat it around. So you're blending it out and once you blend that area, you're soaking it into the skin. I don't really focusing on smoothening at the under eye because that's what you can do with concealer. Normally I won't put on foundation or concealer. This is just a we have two brightened skin, so I'm showing you. Now for concealer, I'm just using something that is one to two shades lighter. So since this is a little bit darker, it looks like it's two shades lighter, but sometimes this lighten lightens up, so it will probably be one shade lighter soon. Now I'm just applying a little bit in these areas and then blending it out. I'm using the same Kabuki brush just so um, I can get the more coverage and really blend it into the skin and make it like blend into the foundation and not be too unnatural, still giving me good coverage to cover up the under eye and not just blotch it everywhere. I'm just showing you how I'm going to blend it out and really everything super detailed. Not really trying to edit out any pieces. Also blend it down your neck. I find that helps. And if you need a little more, um, I'm, I just have a bruise. So I'm going to pat it into the skin. You can also color correct if you really need to to brighten up the skin and make sure that you're not packing on anything when there is those spots on the skin because then it's just going to make a lighter, weirder color. Say you have a bruise and it's like green or purple or something, it's just going to make a lighter color of that and you don't want that. So that's kind of why. By this I'll also be wiping off my lips. This is not turning into a lip tutorial, I swear, and putting on chapstick because the foundation and everything is getting dry on my lips. Now let's go on to like the rest of the face. Also, I don't do blush and highlight most of the time. Sometimes I won't even contour my face or bronze it up at all. But in this one, I'm just bronzing my face. You want to be looking for a brush like this. This is the RT number 100. And this is one of their, I'm pretty sure, contouring or blush brush. This, this might even be for powder. I'm pretty sure it's for powder. But you want something like this for contour, maybe even a little bit smaller. Whatever you find is good for you, but kind of shaped like this. And what I'm going to do is just get the shade. I'm using Nudie. Make sure you're tapping off the extra so you're not just applying it really dirtily. And like barely even touch your skin and blend up so you're not bringing the darkness down. You want to bring it up. And I know that sounds weird like maybe I'll get highlight spaces but it's worse to go down because then it's going to make an unflattering line near your face and you're going to look like Pennywise from that weird movie. Um, I've never watched it but yeah you're going to look like that. And just you're bringing it along and if you have done it and um You'll probably want to bring it to the forehead. Don't do this if you have a small forehead, but I'm just doing this because it's gonna look weird if I don't do it. It's gonna look undarkened. It's just gonna look super bright compared to what my cheeks look like. Also, just because I have a bun up and it might make my forehead appear a little bit bigger, so I have to contour it. Now I'm gonna go in with powder after it just so um, it lightens up the contour if it's cakey at all and I can just really set everything into the face. So I'll start near my under eyes, dusting it around. Cause that's the most important part. I don't really 
get dry near my under eyes anymore. So I'm okay with that. But the places I get dry is around my nose and still sometimes in my smile lines. So sometimes I have to be careful. It's itching my nose. There, it's set. And if you want to bake it, you can. But this concealer like mattifies my under eye. It's supposed to, and um, I feel like if I'm already doing this, it already sets it well enough. Um, I am not taking the risk for my under eyes to be a lot drier than they already are, so I don't really like to bake them. Now what I do is take a damp beauty blender, which this one is not, I'll have to wet it. Either use um, hot water or a setting spray and melt it into the skin. So I have loaded it up with warm water and I'm just pouncing it into the skin. Very, very, very lightly though. You don't want to mess it up. You just want to make it look a lot more dewy and less cakey. Like melt it into the skin. This is also a good way to brighten up your skin for Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, Hanukkah, if you celebrate it. But yeah. Now I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. I'm going to do very natural makeup, almost looking like I don't have any on. But that just makes it all like looking like I have makeup on. Also, do you like my cute owl earrings? They're very new. See you guys later. really it looks a lot better in person but it looks really good in camera as well so i am loving that um i want a before and after shot so this is the after i'll probably take a picture and you that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm probably about to wash this off in a few hours maybe even 30 minutes but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you want to check in to see how this lasts, I might be able to do this or in the description box down below, update you guys. But for now, love you so much. Bye.